So talk about this use of it, because this yes. is, again, this is another extension of the, the work you've done, where now you're turning it to something incredibly useful for the world. Mm -hmm. what, what are all the letters on the left and what's on the right? Yeah, so this is our, um, this was always my aim with AI from, from a kid, which is to, to use it to accelerate scientific discovery. And actually, ever since um, doing my undergrad at Cambridge, I had this problem in mind one day for, for AI. It's called the protein folding problem. And it's kind of like a 50-year grand challenge in biology. And, um, and it's very simple to explain. Proteins are, are essential to life. Uh, they're the building blocks of life. Everything in your body depends on proteins. And uh, you describe a protein, a protein sort of described by its amino acid sequence, uh, which you can think of as roughly the genetic sequence describing the protein. E each so of that's those all amino, the letters. Uh, e and each of those letters represents in itself a, a complex molecule. That's right? right. Each of those letters is an amino acid. And you can think of them as a kind, you can think of it as a kind of string of beads there at right. the bottom left, right? And, and, but in nature, in your body or in an animal, this string, a sequence, turns into this beautiful shape on the right. That's the protein. That's that, those letters describe that shape. And that's what, that's what it looks like in nature. And the important thing about that 3D structure is that the 3D structure of the protein goes a long way to telling you what its function is in the body, what it does. And so the protein folding problem is, can you directly predict the 3D structure just from the amino acid sequence? So literally, if you give the machine, the AI system, the, the letters on the left, can it produce the 3D structure on the right? And, and that's not, what AlphaFold does, our program it's, it's, does. It's not calculating it from the letters, it's looking at patterns yeah. of other folded program proteins that are known about and right. saying, and somehow learning from those patterns that yes. this may be the way to do so, this. So when we started this project, actually straight after AlphaGo, I thought we were ready. Once, we, once we'd uh, crack Go, I felt we were finally ready after you know, almost 20 years of working on this stuff to actually tackle some scientific problems, including protein folding.